It's winter, snow's falling, you know what that means. It's time to get up and do some skiing. But you've got kiddos. You have one, two, three, four kids. Can you still make skiing work with kids and have fun and not have a whole bunch of tears in the process? The answer is absolutely yes, but you're gonna have to be prepared. In this video, we're gonna go through my ski bag that I use and I carry with me every time I'm skiing with my three children and how it can keep the entire day from going completely awry by all the cool things that I have inside there. Let's discuss. Hey, welcome to Hyper Academy. My name is Ryan Field Spack. It's a ruthless world out there. How do you stand up and step out? You do it by getting your mind right, and that's what we're here to talk about in Hyper Academy. And this is a fun session talking specifically all things skiing with kids and with your wife. So if you're a dad and you have kids, this is the place for you. We've got a ton of videos that are here talking about how to improve the day and make sure that skiing is enjoyable so that everybody will want to come back and there will be less tears. Today we're specifically talking about my ski bag. This is the bag that I carry with me all the time. It has all the good stuff in it to be able to help out our kiddos when we're skiing. One of the biggest things to keep in mind when you're up and on the slopes is it can be stressful. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to want to lose your cool, but the biggest thing that you want to do is not lose your cool. There's some tips and there's some techniques to be able to calm yourself and to think clearly and strategically and be focused on the task at hand to not let things snowball out of control. So without further ado, you can get some more information in the link below if you're interested more about how to kind of ease the stress of the day. But specifically, let's jump into that bag so I can show you exactly how this thing is set up. All right, here is my backpack that I use while skiing with my kids every single time. And even if I'm skiing by myself, I typically bring this with me. It just is a level of security and comfort for myself in particular to be able to have everything that I need in place and ready to go. So let's jump into it. This, as you can see, is a Unigear. I got this off of Amazon. Um, it's a great backpack, absolutely perfect form factor. I'll put a link to this in the description below if you're curious about it in particular but this backpack is absolutely great. I love it. The thing I like about it mostly is its form factor. It's relatively small um, and it absolutely helps because when you're getting onto a ski lift in particular, it won't push you off. You're able to get on the ski lift. You can jog it to the side a little bit and it will actually um, be easy enough to get onto the ski lift. With. It's got a ton of great features, including a great padded back and it's pretty stiff through here so you're not feeling all the lumps and things while you're skiing down the mountain and when you're hitting bumps you're not getting jarred by the things that are inside it and in place of course it's got a belt clip here as well as clips specifically for um, the chest as well which is huge to have when you're bumping around on the mountain so we'll jump in from the top and move our way down and through the process First things first, what I always have in my bags is an extra pack of clean uh, Kleenex. Right here, right available, so that it's easy to access for the kids when their noses are really running and things like that. And then I also have a stash of hand warmers in here um, and ready to go so that when it does get cold I can pass those out to the kids and they can be much warmer. Keeping them warm and keeping their noses from running is absolutely huge which is why those are right there available right at the beginning. This back's great too because it can hold a snowboard here on this side. It can hold skis on one on each side here um, so that is very helpful if you end up having to carry your kiddos skis as well. And then as you can see, I've got a number of different carabiners on here that are just available and extra so that I can use them for a number of different things as necessary, like hanging it on chairs or things like that while you're eating um, in the lodge at the area. When I open this up, we can take a look deeper inside. In particular, what I like about this bag is it opens all the way down so you can get access deeply inside the bag without having to reach super deep inside. It also has this pocket right here. Here's where I have a number of really important things, of course. 
more Kleenex. Sunscreen, I use something like this and there's also a little hard stick that you can get that pop the top, um, top pops off and you can wipe the kid's uh, nose and cheek real quick, real easy to put that sunscreen on. And then of course, some nice lip goo so you can be able to keep your lips from getting too chapped and sunburned. This pocket's also nice because you can also put things like goggles inside of it as well. Now let's dive straight in. You might have noticed initially the mic that I have on here. Having a radio and having all of your kids and even your wife have a radio with them is absolutely incredibly helpful from my perspective going forward. So you can see I've got the radio running in through here. I've got it locked on here with a carabiner so it stays nice and protected and warm and most importantly it's not sitting on my hip to where it's going to be causing me um, you know trouble. So this is great. Everybody has one and we can keep in direct communication on the mountain. The communication is important for a couple of reasons. The first is you can know where your kid is, especially if they're off on their own and you're at a lift operation area and you're trying to find out where they are. This is huge. You can call out hazards while you're skiing down the mountain in real time so that they can avoid them. And then of course you can make sure that everybody is safe and able to find each other when you get to the end of a run. So that's absolutely critical. Everybody in the family has one of these. And then here in this pocket, while we move forward, this has a nice zipper here on the inside. First things first, most important, snacks. We have basically any and all types of snacks available for the kids. I make sure to have those in place and quickly accessible that I can be able to get to while we're on a lift or a gondola so that they can have snacks while they're moving. In here, nice open pocket. I keep additional hand warmers. The backup stash of hand warmers are in there and available. When we move deeper into the bag itself, wipes. Having wipes available to you are huge for any myriad of different reasons. Cleaning hands, um, cleaning off faces, noses if necessary. I always have wipes with me no matter what. So once the wipes are in there, I also, I'm a bit of a prepper, I guess, so to speak. So I wanna make sure that I have um, things to be able to keep me connected should we get lost on the mountain or should we have to be spending an excess amount of time on the mountain. So in order to do that, I wanna make sure that I have the ability to charge my phone, my devices, my radio, if necessary, so that we can continue to keep connected. So this is a great one. Again, I'll put it on the link in the description below. Solar charging, so obviously that's incredible to have. It's got a radio on it with the antenna that pulls up right here. The thing that I really like about these is they have the charging ports built in so you don't need to bring a separate cord with you. It's just ready to go. And of course it has wireless charging here on the bottom and a flashlight. So this thing has basically everything you need and is available to you. So I always keep that with me just in case I need to charge some of my devices as we move forward. I was a paramedic with a large metropolitan fire department for a number of years, so I can't shake the interest in having very um, medically significant activities and, and equipment in here. So I have obviously a knife, um, easy knife, so I can be able to utilize that for any myriad of different reasons that I might. And then I have a SAM splint. These things are great. Again, you can get them on Amazon put a nice link in the description for you. But these, if you have somebody fall, they break an arm, um, or they maybe dislocate their shoulder or their wrist or something like that, right? This can fold up and it will help to protect and stabilize that wrist so that you can get them down the mountain or you can help out ski patrol if they need it ahead of them arriving since that might take them a long time. So a SAM splint, I always carry with me. Headlamp. If we're out, we're lost, something like that, and it starts to get dark, having a headlamp is going to be absolutely critical to be able to see where we're going. And then I have extra baggies. If you have an accident on the lift, you wanna put wet clothes in the baggie, much better to put them in a baggie instead of just tossing them inside. And then I have a bit of a medical kit here. I won't go through all of this. If you're interested in seeing what's deeply into my medical kit, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment and say that you want to learn more about this. But as I said, I want to make sure that I, as a former medic, have a lot of the different equipment and things that I need to be able to take care of any significant issue immediately before ski patrol or an ambulance or something like that arrives. So obviously I've got alcohol preps, good amount of band-aids, four by four dressings. Um, and then on this side, 
I have a bandage for that sand splint or to hold on dressings as necessary. So um, that can be utilized. Extra hand warmers, as you can see, right here is a tourniquet. I have tourniquets with me pretty much everywhere I go in case there is a significant bleeding event that we can get that stopped. Hand sanitizer as necessary. Nitrile gloves. I've got a multi-tool, a knife, extra chapstick. You can see I've got some extra flashlights. A lot of different things, fire starter, so I can be able to ensure that I have the things that are necessary to be able to stay safe um, for a short period of time, should it be needed. You can see a little mylar blanket there too. So that's kind of my medical kit. Again, if you want me to dive deeply into this or talk more medicine, happy to do so. Just let me know in the comments. And then finally, I've got just an extra kind of little mini multi-tool. This just has a number of different things in it. Should it be necessary? Again, easy to fit in there. So I figured why not? Let's just toss it inside. So that is it. That's what I've got in here. Obviously I have the carabiners to hold my water bottle with a hook on each side here. And I've got the side pieces here where most of the trash goes easier in here over on this side. So that is my ski bag. And um, I think it really works for me and I'm really excited to show it to you today. So what did you think? As I said, do you have any ideas or any thoughts of things that you would put in there or that you currently have in your bag? What other good kid-friendly items can I carry in my bag or that you might suggest for others? Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. There's gonna be a lot more coming forward in the future. And um, if you have any other questions, put them in the comments. Let's have that discussion as a community of dads together. Talk to you soon, thanks.